So wakurugenzi after last time niwaambie mna complain too much ni, nimetumiwa maswali hapa ambazo nimeambiwa I need to address quick fast. Ya yeah, sababu mnaona ni kama sisi hatufanyi kazi wacha let, let me address these questions. Number one. Eh hii serikali yenu iko in control kweli? Of course. Of course iko in control. Wewe unajiona vile tunafanyia watu hapa nje? Saudi alitujaribu siku fulani alifraya. Tulimuokota kwake 6 in the morning. Tupendi ujinga sisi. Mike Sonko simuliona vile tulicheza na yeye. Saa hii ametulia. Tu we, we are very powerful. Can you use that energy to deal with corruption? Okay. Okay, tuko na nguvu lakini pia si nguvu sana. Hapa ndio kidogo ni kama tunapotezana. Hapa hapa uwezo kidogo ni atunanga. Hapa in fact tunakuaga wanyonge sana. Tunalilia judiciary haki tumelia kila mahali. Hapa hapa kidogo kuna pressure. Hapa mtatuia radhi. Uh, the issue of girls and sanitary pads itakuwaje hapo uh, uh, hakuna hiyo yeah. as it is we have done enough aki tumepeana condoms for free for decades amturumi amturumi wacha wasichana wasaidike na, na condoms si tunapeana free huku kwa ma, it's, it's everywhere please muna tukimbiza sana hata nyinyi kama pesa ya pads hakuna hao wabunge extra mnataka kuleta mtawalipa na nini no 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 ya wabunge iko Do, don't be mistake ah ah hapa ndio tuna ya wabunge iko hiyo iko hiyo no mtu asijaribu kuwadanganya ati watakuja hapa wakule shida no 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 wako pesa yao iko intact mshahara magari kila ki hiyo iko sawa hiyo iko sawa kabisa don't, don't worry don't worry about it Uh, we are losing a lot of money on corruption will we remain afloat for long of course of course pesa haiwezi tushinda tukiibia pesa tukiiba zaidi tunawa tax zaidi hivyo ndio tunakacheza pesa lazima itoke by any means necessary umejaribu kununua tokens <laughs> tokens ya 1500 yako tunakupiga 800 700 ni yetu enda uangalie hata mafuta hii mna uzio 115 ai sinafika hapa na 40 bob yeah <laughs> lakini mnainunua na 115 sababu tukiiba lazima tubakishe design ya ku remain afloat kuna swali nyingine uh, kama imewashinda hii kitu simuende nyumbani ah mnaharibu uh, without any other questions tuanze uende nyumbani ah hakuna swali nyingine tunaweza anza kipindi species ah sarap naona watu wameishiwa na maswali hapa wanaanza kuongea nonsense <sighs> twende kazi species Naambia bana headline hitter simekuja na ubaya and if you see mkurugenzi in the building you just know he's got the juice wadao ama vipi mm wadao story yangu leo naipeleka mwaka wa 1997 so watu wa 98 kukuja hivi kila mtu daftari daftari kimbilia notebook in the meantime tukiwangojea wachukue simu naweza gongaga hiyo subscription Mm, tuwapatie kama dakika moja ama sekunde 30 hivi wachukue mambo yao. Sikia kandege kanapita unaona airport vile iko karibu. <laughs> hapa ukilala hapa ni kwa mabazu. Mabazu. Ya. Yeah. daftari zimechukuliwa. Wako sawa sasa. Twende. Okay, wada, wacha niulize. Assuming wewe ni wewe ni mtu, wewe ni short caller area yako, wewe ni mwanasiasa fulani hapo alafu umerealize kuna watu ambao siwa hii community yako wamekuja wanajenga hiyo area deadly in a develop develop lakini ni kama community yako ina lag behind kiasi as a true politician unaweza fanya aje kwa situation kama hiyo 
nafikiri a true politician ataenda design kama ya Dubai unajua Dubai pale walikaa mwakaamua sasa nyinyi tuta tuna establish city yetu matata but jua tuwezi fanya hii kazi peke yetu let's open it to the world we open it up to the world wakuje wapige investments hapa nini wafanye biashara wajinufaishe na hii Dubai yetu lakini kutakuwa na mikakati kutakuwa na sheria kwa kila biashara ya nje inapigwa hapa lazima watu wetu wafanye nini wa benefit that is how i think a proper politician would handle things not a kenyan politician when hiyo oh never a kenyan politician ni mwaga mboga na mwaga ugali tulale njaa sisi wote fukuza watu hapa kwani iko nini that is exactly what happened in 1997 in the coastal uh, region of this country wada 1997 tulikuwa tuna gear up to election moja matata sana ya 97 na kawaida mazesi unajua bana wa Kenya ikikaribia elections kuna koga tuna vurugu 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 so pale chini kuna county pale inaitwa Kwale bana Kwale in fact the whole two south coast region wana feel ai mazee ah wase wa hizi areas zingine wanaoita watu wa bara watu wa huku maushago wamekamu huku hivi kwetu Kwale wame establish mabiz wanaishi fiti sisi mazee ai Life imetuchapa hapa deadly mazee tuko vibaya poverty imetutandika deadly hapa itakuwaaje jo tuko na wabigi wetu hapa wabunge mazee si wafanye mambo tuone pia sisi vile tunaweza saidika na historia eh, hii economic growth yenye na kamuku inafaa pia sisi bana tunapata ka something tuna fry so wabunge hiyo area wakasikia hizo malilio lakini sababu ni dogo mothi ya tire kedo moto ya kuna kitu kwa kichwa wakaona ah this would be perfect perfect kuleta siasa ya ukumbaf so wakaanza kuitana mkutano politician wa dubai alisema hapo vizuri nyinyi kujeni mfanye kazi lakini watu wangu wasaidike hizi nduma kuwili zinaita mkutano wanaanza kuambia watu wapo chini nyinyi mtakaliwa mpaka lini eh, watu wanakuja wanajenga mabichi hotel huku wanafaidika nyinyi mnakula problem. Sasa hizo mtu anaambiwa hivyo alifika class 3 mwisho hana hata basic skills ya biashara unaanza kumwambia story ya beach hotel. Huyu mtu hata ukimpatia beach hotel anafaa afanye nini nayo? Badala mwanasiasa angalie tutasaidia okay huyu pengine hii generation imempita kidogo lakini mtoto wake tutamsaidia vipi ndio hata yeye hii matunda haya ambayo yako hapa kwenye county huyu mtoto wake bana asaidike. Eh tu encourage waseba na waende shule wafanye nini wakamu wateko wasaidie saidie kwa hizi biz maze but siku poison mse kusema ah sasa ni kina nani wanakam kujenga jenga huku so maze ikakuwa ndio hivyo wanasiasa pale wakaita kikosi wakawaambia ni aje ini, this is wrong ah se wametoka mali wametoka wanakuja hapa bana kufaidika nyinyi mnakula shida itakuwaaje ila yeye iende kwani iko nini iko nini ha wadao Gafla bin vu watu wameitwa vichakani kidogo kidogo sasa tumeanza kuingia traditional warfare tushaanza kufanya ma witchcraft na nini na nini majamaa pale wanadanganywa vile sasa bana tunataka tuwatibu nyinyi tukiwatibu hivi mkienda vita hakuna kitu inawaham hata ukikula risasi ya ukufi eh hii vita lazima tupigane mpaka mwisho ni mwana siasa anaambia hivi ordinary E, tunataka twende pale tupigane hii vita mpaka mwisho hizi ma- biashara hao watu wa bara wamekuja hapa ni zenu ni zenu ingieni bana hizo ni duka zenu wacha ziwasaidie unaambia hivyo mtu hata hana basics za biashara hata kidogo so majamaa wameingia pale fore wamefanya hizo ma ritual zao wamekula ile kiapo oath wamebeba mapanga na on the 13th of august 1997 all hell broke loose kidogo kidogo maze likoni police station maze majamaa wameingia kikosi ya vijana wameingia pale na mapanga wakapata six police officers among them a very eh, okay sko shoka alikuwa young but uh, a female uh, police officer alikuwa pale ana man uh, desk pale kwa OB pale maze panga ikatembea aje watu sita chini including huyo madam maze wakaingia kwa amari pale kwa police station wakatoka na more than 30 guns na thousands of rounds za ammunition maze So sasa wamejiami na vitu mbili wako na mabunduki na wako na ukumbaf hakuna mtu mbaya kama huyo mtu akona bunduki na katile kedo ha 
Huyo ni mtu anaweza kukufanya mbaya. So wameingia sasa ni kuvuruga, ni kuchafua. Na kwambia walitandika watu kwa villages the next like three weeks. It was pure chaos. Masaka pale South Coast maze watu wali innocent families wakapigwa. Anyone wewe kama una jina ya pale chini, wewe sijui unasikika ni mjaluo, sijui mkamba nini nini. Unakula panga hapo ama risasi ama whatever. Maze it was so sad seeing people wamekuwa neighbors for the longest maze wanageuziana tu man na mtu anakuwa maiti hapo in a span of seconds in fact in one of the homesteads vijana waliingia maze very young boys maboy watatu wakaenda wakapata mama ako na dota yake pale mind you hatu wamekuwa neighbors for quite some time so wanajuana in fact the mama was gracious and kind enough kuambia vijana in fact hata msikue hata na pressure kaeni chini mnakula nini mnapenda ugali na kamchicha hivi hiyo iko swafi siwacha ni waandalie basa hapa teke teke tukule tu fry hata twende home bana tusifikirie mambo inaendelea huko nje yani nyinyi ni vijana wadogo you have your whole lives ahead of you maze hakuna haja na vijana wakakaa chini maze mother akaingia jikoni akaanda anda mambo kadem kake kako hapo jo kadota ako hapo wametulia wanasaidia mama wakaandaa chakula ikaletwa kwa meza vijana wakaweka silaha chini wakakula chakula vizuri wakamaliza wakashiba wakanawa mkono immediately wamenawa wakafanya nini wakanyonga mama na wakachukua panga wakakata msichana as in what nonsense ni upuzi gani hiyo inaingiaga mtu kwa kichwa neighbors ani watu u mother alikuwa gambaka anapatia gawato hii dish once in a while as in ni majirani wamezoea kuishi pamoja maze so ikakuwa ndio hivyo bana homesteads after homestead after homestead maze wanasikia tu oh vijana wameingia wamepiga mzee marungu huko sasa mzee yako immobile hizi tembea huko mzee wa huyo homestead ingine amepigwa mapanga amededi for like the next one month ilikuwa chaotic so of course maze president moya at the time alikuwa president uh, moya at the time alikuwa president akasema eh hey, bana imekuwa too much jo ani kina nani wanamaliza wase huko chini so akasukuma kikosi ma cops wengi huko chini wafanye mambo yao na pia wafanye investigations wajue inakuaje tu vijana wanaamka tu one morning wanaanza kukata kata wase so ikakuwa ndio hivyo so investigations zinafanywa huku makarao pia wako msako huku wakaenda wakiokota vijana deadly but wakati unajua maze wakati unapiga retaliatory move hakunaga time ya kufikiria sana so most of the people waliokotwa ni wase waliokotwa tu juu walijipata the wrong place at the wrong time in fact kuna wase mpaka leo wako shimolate wa prison they still insist to date hawakuwa uh, guilty of the crimes they were charged with so ilikuwa tu it's a whole melee of you know chaos so wase wakaokotwa okotwa ni nini wale makara wanafanya investigation wakakama waka discover oh kumbe the inciting uh, factor ilikuwa gani hao ma politician wa hiyo time hizo ma nini so waka round uh, waka round up ma politicians kadha eh, ma, mashtaka zikafunguliwa kotiko nini nini then sasa hao vijana wadogo wenye wameshikwa shiko huku juu lazima wapatiane information ya line na vile uh, uh, serikali inataka mambo iende wakaanza kufinywa finywa walifinywa mbaya sana Baa sana. So wengine wali end up ku confess vitu si za ukweli. As in it was just chaos. The whole thing ilikuwa tu ni matata. Of course kuna wenye walikuwa hapo kabisa walionekana live live wakatupwa ndani. Well and good hawa kosaa, wacha waoze huko washenzi hao. Eh but uh, wengi kuna tu squad tu iko pale bana wali walishikwa tu for for nothing maze. So at the end of everything I think after it totally ran for like 3 months over 60 people had lost their lives I know wait No 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 it was way more than that way more than that ilikuwa 100 and something Ah wakurugenzi nisaidieni hapo hiyo hiyo figure inanichenga inanichenga and then hapo kwa comments mniambie walikuwa so ngapi kwa hiyo kaya bombo ilikuwa inaitwa kaya bombo kaya bombo masaka maze ilikuwa tu ni hatari Ah but uh, si unajua bana serikali ni ile ile wale politicians wote walikuwa wame, wako associated na history to date none hakuna hata mmoja ashawaishikwa ama ashawaiwekwa ndani hata for one hour sababu ya hiyo incident yote wale watu walisafa ni vijana pale down eh, kuna wale wanafaa kuwa kwe pale but kuna wengine wengi wenye walibebwa tu juu 
imesemekana kutoka huko juu bana shikeni hao watu bana so lazima watu wangeshikwa ya yeah, maze hapo ndio maze costarians wali experience one of the worst pre election violences ever the kaya bombo massacre deadly sana wa mama walipoteza watoto wao na wa husbands wao e, watoto wakapoteza wazazi wao as in ilikuwa ni, ni deadly one of the worst worst things to ever hit the coast mother uh, after that of course tulijua ni hivyo mother at least eh, watu wa melan tutawahi kuwa na shida kama kama hizi tena <laughs> 10 years later in 2007 mnajua vile kuli happen So I think kuna kitu tu ina happen hapa nje na Afrika na sijui kama ni hiyo uh, desperation na the fact that maze watu wamefika ile point ya hawana hope na life tena as in tuna go through so much alafu tunasahau maze after as, uh, like a decade tunarudi hapo tena maze which is nonsense to say the least so yeah tulirudi hapo tena 2007 and tukapoteza even I think 10 times more I hope maze ndio itakuwa ya mwisho tusirudi huko hivyo tena. I hope wale wase wa pale pwani wali learn lessons zao, waka discover yenyewe badala ya kufukuzana, wacha tuangalie vile tunaweza work pamoja maze. E, economy ni yetu sisi wote, tusaidike sisi wote. But ukifukuzana, aisaidi. Ju sasa ukifukuza umse amekamna hii expertise and then alaf. Yeah. Hapo ndo tunakafungia leo story ya Kaya Bombo Masaka. Maze, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. But I hope wasona learn these lessons maze usio. Yes, kama kawa tuendelee kupiga subscription pale na kama imekubamba deadly you know what to do cheza kama wewe pale. Eh hey, kurugenzi hapa wa fry, wasikie fit ama namna gani wadau. Na watambua sana. Tukutane tena on Friday eh on on Tuesday. To gonge hapo young and stupid to fry ama namna gani wadao iwa bambe adios muchachos peace ah na watu wanasema hiji sina gongaga mara moja alafu sigongi tena is how <laughs> nimeigonga